You know, you can sit down if you want to. Yes, I see. You better. I have a great many things to say. Oh, you have? Yes. I have only one. And? That is? Goodbye. But I don't think you'll have to say it. I know I will. Then it'll be because you want to. No. It'll be because I must. Oh, because you must. I know some things you don't. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's more than likely, Miss Varney. Would you mind telling me a few so that I might somewhat approach you in that respect? Well, I wouldn't mind telling you one. That is, it's very wrong of you to think of leaving Richmond just now. Ah, but I've got my orders. I'm leaving tonight. Where? To the front? We can't always tell where orders will take us. But suppose there were other orders from a higher authority pointing you to duty here. It wouldn't make any difference. You don't mean you'd go in spite of them. But if it proved your first order was a mistake. It wasn't a mistake. Is it something dangerous? <laughs> well, enough to make it interesting. Please don't be angry if I ask you once again about your orders. I must know. Why? No matter, just tell me. No, I can't do that, Miss Varney. You needn't. I know. They're sending you on some mission where death is almost certain. They'll sacrifice your life because they know you are fearless and will do anything. But there is a chance for you to stay here and be just as much use. And I'm going to ask you to do this. It's not just your life alone. There are other lives to think of. That's why I ask you. I know it may not seem, but you see. I must go. That business is elsewhere. I should never have seen you or spoken to you. But I had to come to this house, and you were here. And how could I help it? <laughs> 